do it. Okay, now I'm going to just repeat the same. This one is like clumping because the string is not going fast enough. to touch the graduated cylinder to the lip of the flask, just to try to balance it in the air. To place these on top to the autoclave tape. anything on these YouTube channels showing that um, the whole process of nutrient auger and dissolving so I'm gonna hopefully do a time-lapse um, hopefully it works out for me and uh, so you can see how the auger looks the closer it gets to the boiling point and uh, we'll be able to time it so I can tell you how long it takes to boiling point now these um, these hot plates were just turned on this morning, so they were not previously heated. That also will have an effect to how quick or the water will heat. You, I'm and then while we're doing this, I'm going to prep my other three flasks.
It looks like it's boiling, uh, but it's not. You could tell that it changed colors though. Basically when it's really clear and it looks like beer, it's gonna boil. Also a good indicator, indicator is that vortex in the middle. The vortex, see it getting white. When that white froth reaches the top, it's usually going to start boiling. Um, this one's not really clear yet. And this one has the froth up top, but it's not boiling yet. So the slower one is misleading in some ways. This is a really good one. Um, I have the RPMs at 500 here. And uh, sometimes hot plates are just, some of them work better than others. Some of them are hotter than others. So that could be also a indication. But we probably got like another five minutes when these all three will be boiling. Just gonna get ready for this one. It's it's tricking me. It's looking like it's gonna boil, but I don't think it will for a while.
see how the vortex is almost reaching the top. So it's going to boil when it reaches the top. So we're getting closer. It's a lot of waiting time in making auger. And freaking out. But I'm going to grab it right when it starts to boil so that it doesn't boil over. So I'm getting ready, it's getting ready to boil. And make sure you look at the other two as well at the same time. See, the white is almost ready and it's about boiling. And you'll see the froth will go up when it boils. So now I'm gonna take it off and see how the froth goes up. If it goes so close, I'm gonna actually compress the lid like this and it may go down without overflowing. So it relieves the pressure. So that is the boiling and now it stopped boiling. Looks like beer, right? That's gonna be ready to go. And in the meantime, I'm going to start my other one because slower the stirring, get these warmed up. <laughs> 